concept art is solving the problems. Yeah, but what does it mean? It's for real solving the problems. You know, they have a problems, <laughs> and you have to solve them. And solving them is hard, you know, because it's a problem. If it will be not a problem, other artists or they do it by themselves, they will not pay you money. <laughs> yeah, that's that's insane, you know. And uh, because the task can be really strange, you know, and this is what is great about our profession. Yeah. Uh, oh, what to start from? You know, it's. Uh, it's really crazy, as I said to you before the we have this this podcast. Uh, it's really really surrealistic, uh, and um, from like how it starts, you know, uh, the four in the morning, you're just hearing like explosions. You never like forget the sound. Like it's it's very specific. You know, it's very like low and bass. You know, like boom boom and you are they're just like getting up from from this uh, what we like uh, like first day was of, of course it was awful like everything was in panic you know supermarkets people food um, like uh, everybody everybody want like uh, all the cars are stopped on in, in the city you know it's all everything is blocked you know like everything you imagine when you're like thinking about all these things what would it take for you not to make your art? This question arose from hearing the experiences of today's guest, Yuri Estapchuk. Yuri is an amazing concept artist who works in games and film. And in this episode, Yuri gives an inspirational insight into how to tackle briefs and deliver successful art to your clients. And why for him, working in film is the best. Yuri also talks about his harrowing experiences of living, surviving and working in a war zone and where art fits into all of that. Let's go. Everyone, welcome back to the Learn Squared podcast, and I'm delighted to welcome on today's guest, Yuri Estapchuk. Welcome, Yuri. Hey, hey, man. Hey, nice to meet you guys, everybody who's listening. Thank you, Yuri, for joining me. Um, I know it's like, I guess usually the issues that we have when we have people jumping on is just making sure we got the gear working. We just had issues just before we began, making sure like more on my end, make sure that everything's kind of taking over. But in your situation, it's a little bit more complicated because you're in an active, I guess, well, war zone. Um, so first of all, thank you for joining me on. Thank you for finding the time. Um, and thank you, man. Yeah, man. So uh, uh, first of all, yeah, let's get all the, I guess, not pleasantries out the way. But we've been wanting to, especially myself, wanted to speak to you for many, many years. Um, I think when I first joined us back in 2018, I remember I reached out to you. Uh, this is way before the podcast was a thing. And saw your work and it was awesome. And just seeing the journey, seeing like, you know, the, the quality you're putting into your work. And I know we're talking about like maybe doing some something for a blog related stuff. And then it was a stream thing. Things happened. Things didn't happen for different reasons. The world changed. For everybody, it was COVID. For you, is other things as well. Um, and I think maybe this is a good way to kind of discuss now through a podcast because of all the other ways we were going to do it. I think this is a better way. So firstly, I'm a fan of your work. I'm glad we've got you on. Um, but for those of us who are new to the space in general and new to your work, um, if you could just let us know who Yuri is. Oh, okay. So, no, oh, it's it's been a long like <laughs> a long journey, you know. Uh, where to start from? Uh, like, uh, basically, I'm a concept artist, and I'm a concept artist in a, now in a film industry. Uh, and uh, I was starting like um, working in some advertising, you know, game advertising long ago, um, like was it was 2014, I think, something like this. And then uh, like developing my skill and so on, like learning a lot uh, for like Years and years I was started, but like my, my journey to you know to be, to become a concept artist. Uh, it was not like from the very beginning because it, I think I worked for a few years and then decided that it's 
like great to 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 work like this you know to find it i was listening for podcasts like this you know <laughs> with different uh different artists and so on and listen about the industry and it was really fun to know about it you know and uh yeah so it was like something like this mm -hmm. and uh for now yeah i'm working in uh in parallax studio uh with in the film industry the studio is um uh, with steve young as our director he's like a great art director and uh uh, it's a great studio and I really like to work there for now, uh, but uh, maybe um, also I have experience with Terraform Studio, with Finn and Matmanos uh, for some time. Uh, and before that, I'll have uh, like a really big experience in Plarium uh, Studio with um, working as a lead concept artist, working as a uh, art director there for cinematics and advertising for games. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was like in studio. Uh, some VFX uh, production studio inside the game studio. So, like something like this. Uh, yeah, but uh, for now, I stopped working there and uh, continue my way as a, like some kind of contract freelance artist uh, in movies. So, basically, the, the most uh, like uh, intense uh, part of, of work is like last year or like well, one year and a half, like I think from. 2018 or something like this so something like this and uh, a lot of projects is uh, not released yet and uh, and uh, some of them coming like coming out like for example like Westworld oh. uh, which I was posted uh, last week or something and uh, something will go out uh, in future so yeah something like this you know cool. if, so very experienced and very seasoned artist. Um, you mentioned that you're in like, I guess, working for film now. Is that more so by design, no pun intended? Um, or was it just simply because it happened because that's the offer that you were given or um, that's just the kind of, I guess, parallax specializing. So yeah, like how did it, how and why have you ended up in film? Uh, it was my, like my, uh wish you know like my like fully uh like my straight wish to work in films because uh from when i was studying like uh working as a concept artist i have uh, uh like uh, this you know two ways uh to um, take the job in our department in the game like in the game departments you know which and to, to take a job in a um, very fixed studio as a as a concept artist for cinematics mm -hmm. like it was two opportunities it was in the same time and both like uh from one i have an offer and with other i have no offer right, <laughs> yeah right, right. and i was and i i went to the like uh producer of the studio and say i want to work uh especially for cinematics because i love movies uh it was my passion you know it's just feeling right you know and uh, i always wanted to work in films uh and uh, i went there and say yeah i have an offer from the game uh mm -hmm. Studio, yeah, and uh, but I don't want. I want to to work in films, you know. Mm -hmm. Take me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and yeah, it, and it worked. And uh, I started like as a junior I'm concept artist in in uh, in Refix Studio, you know, uh, inside the Plarium company. Yeah, and uh, that was great. And was and uh, it gives me, you know, this opportunity to know this process of. Um, moving like making cinematics and making this pro like production process of mm. the uh like movies and videos you know it, it it's and it's great you know mm. to have this experience yeah so it was like like this but why it happens because yeah but i know i like uh, the storytelling of the movies i like the re uh, you know how it calls like the reality of it you know mm because um, everything you do for movies is very close it's not, not how to say it's even if it's very fantastic you know it, even it's a very strange you know and so on it's always uh, have a lot of realism you know you have it 
even if this thing is very fantastic, it should work, you know, it will be on screen and it should be very uh, like believable. And that's what I'm looking in for in design, you know, what, what I like a lot because, um, and of course, you know, the, the, I don't know, movies are just great to watch then and uh, the story behind it is um, touching you a lot. And uh, of course, some games are very good too, you know, mm -hmm. of course. They are, there are some of them are, which are really great, you know. Uh, but um, movies are like, you know, something like closer to me, you know, mm -hmm. something like this. I can r relate to that a lot. Um, like, I have a huge passion for cinema and movies in lots of different aspects obviously as an artist from a visual point standpoint but even if i were never were to be an artist it would be like you know like you mentioned just enjoying films and cinema and everything that goes around it um and yeah, i just want to get your take on like i guess the differences because my experience has so far predominantly been mainly in games um so i've yet to work on like say something cinematic or a movie uh, in like i say like you know um triple a sense in the movie terms um so i know like many artists have mentioned that there is a key difference typically on game mm -hmm. versus film more mainly because of the length of production time and etc um but uh, from yourself working on both what are the key differences that you have seen straight away yeah yeah definitely i, w I worked for games uh definitely a few projects uh, and uh yeah, I've experienced it, and, and I can, you know, uh, connect these two experiences and, and uh, uh, tell what uh, the main difference is uh, between the process which stands behind the product. You know, it's it's uh, the game you will play in the, this game, in the movie you will watch this movie. You know, it's a big difference because uh, it's totally different uh, design. You know, because uh, and of course. Uh, for film, uh, the design can um, be especially work uh, with set design, you know, it will work with people who will, uh, like with actors, you know, because they will interact mm -hmm. with it. It's the real people that will interact with your designs for real. And uh, in game, it's a big role, like, you know, big process, which with a lot of people who will play the game will interact with and we'll have fun and we'll have mm -hmm. emotions so it's it's totally different worlds and uh from the design point of view it's of course it's like the you know the main things of of design you know are the same and of course people who work for games can work for films it's it's okay because the design instruments are the same yeah. it's like it's like music you know it's it's have like the same notes you know and the same process but uh but design wise it's very very different because um the sets are like they they have to be real you know it's just uh can be super fantastic you know uh they have to be a lot of from the you know rework from the practice point of view and it's a little uh, different be because of auditory which will mm, react on your design because uh games touch a little bit younger auditory than movies you know because people who are like the production designers and uh, directors they are mm, a little bit older you know because they have they have to have a lot of experience to make this product for example if you are a director on film you have to have some life experience to uh give it to people you know mm -hmm. to give this uh, like to create you know the the vision of the movie and uh, a lot of them looking for more serious uh stuff you know from from the design point of view you know more complicated maybe uh more engineer wise like working you know because they want to things work Mm -hmm. uh for example for actors or something like this and there's a lot of uh, things connect with the real places you know because uh, a lot of films are of course <laughs> yeah shooting in some real places and uh you have to work with the real scales you know with uh, a lot of uh you know mixing you know reality and uh, some fixed things 
because it's always uh, like in Westworld, there are lots of locations mm -hmm. which they have uh, in real life, you know, and you should work with it. Uh, but you should like make it, you know, uh, redesign it and so on. But but in games, you have totally like your own world from the made by game designers from the game point of view to having fun, you know, to have all these uh, things like uh, where to shoot, you know, you have you know, like, for example, yeah, where you see it in the air, you have to hide and then mm -hmm. jump out and then go to some story, you know, to find something and so on. It's just like the way through the game, through the world. Uh, and in in movies, it's uh, totally like different thing, you know, the actors and the scenes are going on and uh, some so something like this because but anyway, it's um, because design in film, it's uh, like pretty, pretty wide, have a pretty wide, you know, uh, like points, you know, it's uh, keyframes, it's set design, it's prop design, it's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And in games, it's uh, like the same thing, you know, it's uh, a lot of design ball points too, you know, so something like this, you know, maybe if it's okay to like to explain my, my explanation of this difference it's it's totally two different roles one is mm -hmm. for real life acting and shooting you know while other is for the game experience so yeah something like this and for like for yourself um because you mentioned that obviously the the workflow you need to work on both is the same like you don't need any specific tools to work on film versus to work on game, like you can deliver yeah. how you need to deliver. Only, only here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Brain, sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. But obviously, like you know, like you mentioned, like they have different requirements for different reasons. Yes. Um. Many. Yes. Uh, I guess they are technical or practical. Um. But ultimately, there are like certain things that they need to do. For your from your own experience, like, do you have a preference over one or the other, or is it just a case of? Whatever the brief is, I'm gonna tackle it. Uh, you, you mean like, uh, will I? If I will have a brief, uh, will I um, like supposed to to do something from my own or? Oh no no! Uh, I mean like, um, sorry, just clarify. Um, like film versus game. Obviously, like you yeah. worked on both. Um, yeah. So in terms of like you working, there's not really going to be that much of a difference in terms of like how you're going to tackle it. But yeah. your experience of like, I guess, the requirements of each, um, do you have a preference of a, like, I prefer working on film versus game? Or is there like a completely neutral in between both for you? Uh, no, of course, I will prefer to work on film, you know? Uh, yeah, definitely. Because if I will take, take two of them, I will definitely. Because, you know, it's an it's, uh, interesting thing, you know, from the reaction from like when i when i worked on uh, uh games you know i always hear from art directors uh like uh, about adding the process you know of uh, like you should add some uh game process uh into your design you know you should like um think about the game more think about mm -hmm. the game more you know we will you know the player will have fun here and there make this happen you know design this uh is and from films you know they uh need you know some places uh for like for creation their vision for for the for the film and i know the process better mm -hmm. and i the, i will not get any Mm, this kind of reaction because I knew you know it in my head you know it, I know that uh, how it will happen I imagine it so clear uh, that uh, I never have any question you know from the like mm, like production design or something right. you know yeah. that uh, like man it's shooting <laughs> location let's do it you know like okay but from game i all um, i like i cared a lot you know you should think about yeah like i don't know something like this you know because i i think maybe because i am watching films more than playing games <laughs> i was playing sometimes like but it was long ago yeah, you know? yeah i'm yeah. not a very fan of like playing you know right. i'm watching uh, some uh games like uh on youtube you know mm -hmm. uh, like some experience that guys are like for example the last of us or something like this this project is so amazing you know so interesting to watch them 
uh, yeah, and uh, but anyway, I watch them, you know, I'm not playing, you know, so, something like this, you know, so that's why I think I will prefer definitely like the movie stuff, you know. That, that's you super, know? that's super interesting insight because I guess it's clear then that you've always kind of had that synergy for that cinematic approach and more for cinema yeah. because like you said that it, it's almost like a perfect fit when you are working on a film because whatever you do, it's almost like perfect, let's move on. Whereas obviously, like you mentioned with the game, there's a kind of like that yeah. that, that reconfiguration of like, hey, let's just kind of work on this, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so where did you, I guess, because film is interesting because you don't need to be a creative to appreciate them, right? Like they're not necessarily meant for creatives to appreciate. They're meant for just general audience. Um, and some of them want to just watch it because they've got nothing better to do, um, which, which we've all done. Some of them watch it because they're super into it. And, and then like people like yourselves, people like us, like creatives, it's almost like all of those combined in one. So when did you kind of realize for yourself at any stage in your life that I need to work on film? Like, did you know that you were going to be a creative and you want to work on a film? Or was it always like, I want to work on a film? Like just to, to throw my experience in there, like I remember as a young kid that I don't know how, and I don't even realize it was a thing, but working on a film or working for a film or a passion for film, it's always like, that's it. That's a cool thing. Um, I didn't realize it was going to go down the concept art route or wherever it might end up as. Um, so yeah, what was your journey like in that regard? Uh, it's interesting because it's an interesting question. Thank you for that. It's interesting to think about it. You know, uh, I understand that I uh, want uh, in in some uh, period of my life, I just I realize that I want the great to great things. You know, and it's it's the first thing. You know, uh, and uh, I really uh, have this wish to create uh, some ideas that other people will. Uh, Real, realize in life you know like to make they they happen you know i will give them ideas and they will make it happen you know and this idea was like they like it was very attractive to me you know i i, I loved it a lot and i want to like to to create it you know i want to make it and i started uh, like learning as a concept artist and so on but before that you know i was was a, as a kid you know i was really watching the movies a lot and i was playing these movies you know always playing this you know heroes you know and uh like everything from it from it uh and uh i think it's have some some i don't know influence on me you know but, because it's the thing that I was really learning from 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 my childhood, you know, mm -hmm. uh, playing the, you know these movies, you know, you watch some and then you, one week is just totally in it. <laughs> yeah, like, and uh, this experience, you know, I remember it and and it's great, you know. And then uh, it's uh, lots of factors, you know, because I'm I'm uh, really um, I was uh, I'm from. Uh, uh, artistic family. Uh, my father is an oh. artist, uh, is a traditional artist, and my mother's the same. Uh, and uh, they both like uh, do it for a living, and uh, and it was like it's a very common thing to me, you know, from the for, for, like from my childhood, you know, uh, so, like the oil paintings and so on. Just I was like playing around it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's 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 okay, you know, for me totally. Yeah, and um, and. Uh, after that, I was studying as an architect. I, it's my like basic education. Uh, I'm an architect uh, from the like I finished university and so on. And uh, it's really and what is an architecture? You just it's it's a projection. You know, you're making projects. You're making like architecture. You're just designing. You know, and you're designing buildings. And I I I was I I was learning it when I was uh, in in university uh i have like like great results and so on i was like but i never worked as an architect for real uh because <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard for me was it was uh, and uh because of you know uh making this all these crazy ideas for for people it's 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 i don't know some kind of uh, art you know but by, by itself you know to connect with people and create make it happen you know mm. it's it's really hard uh, but in movies, you can do everything you want, you know, because it's 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 what is going on. Because this Westworld project, uh, for example, for me, it was super great. 
uh, and I did a lot of work for it because I had that connection with uh, production designers in terms of architecture, you know, mm. as you just find, huh, this man love architecture and can, it, he can do whatever he wants, like from the architecture point of view for this TV series and he understands all the stuff and let's go, you know, and it was great, you know, and um, so something like this, you know, something like this. It's a lot of factors that combines, 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 mm -hmm. and then go straight to what you love, you know, something like this. So basically w what I love, it's designing for films, you know, it's, I love to design this architecture, I love to design stuff, you know, so it's basically my life experience that combined and moved like straight into my profession. So something like this, you know. Sick. Um, yeah. you, you can see like, like the, the architecture definitely like clicks because when you look at your work, especially the Westworld one, um, obviously like the, the final image looks great, but you, you could, like you said, you've done a lot of work you can see and some of the stuff you, I'm sure you haven't put half of what you've done, like in terms of overall work on that actual project, but you can see like, and a lot of the other stuff as well, like the thought process that goes into things, you definitely build out before you start, I guess, you know, like, like, like fleshing it out kind of thing. Whereas maybe sometimes um, it could be done the other way around where you start maybe a painting then kind of design along the way. Um, am I correct in assuming that's your process or is it, is it different? Uh, uh, to tell you about more about the process of creation, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's always uh, depends because uh, it's uh, when, where you start from. It's just if, if it's blue sky or if it's uh, have some, some things, uh, some vision. You know, in Westworld, they have the strong, strong Westworld vision with, mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, which they have um, before, because it's not like season one, you know, they had it before, it had a style of their uh, TV series, and they uh, have this production designs that are very talented guys, it was like, I was amazed by this, you know, because uh, it was uh, like a very crazy experience when I work with our, direct our directors, which are really know what they want, uh, from the design, you know, in a very specific, you know, detailed way. And uh, it's really, really great to hear, you know, some like they say, oh, you saw this by Zaha Hadid, you know, you, mm. you know, this project, let's, let's like inspired, be inspired by this, you know, and so on. You'd get, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> great, you know. Yeah, it's not like this, you know, do something, you know. No, no, they just really know what they want. Right. And uh, it was great because, and when they understand that you understand what they want and uh, that you can create in this style and you can variate it and you can f like uh, searching, searching, search, because it's like almost like one day of searching, you know, the stuff, you know, it was so many things was done uh, for, for, for all this world, you know, it, it's crazy, you know, some like so much variations because like bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, it's like left, right, you know, it's <laughs> just crazy. And, uh, so in that way you designing, like, um, you taking this idea of the production designer and, uh, understand it and start creating in this, uh, like style, this way. Mm -hmm. uh and it's one process and uh from from the other side you have some projects which are really blue sky things you know you have to imagine it from zero you know to 100 percent from very beginning because it's that's how for example i uh get the job in in in, in films for, for example it was just mm, like one task for one day mm -hmm. you know it was like the production designer who can't get uh the result and uh and uh he said like uh make this like location and uh i was like okay i have i imagine it make two variants in a day and she said yes and like this it's totally works like i'm buying it yeah that's all and you Sick. got the job <laughs> that's all Sick. yeah so so something like this you know uh it depends it depends a lot sure. like how 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 you go how you can work on this sometimes you can like give some variance to find uh, the way you, yeah. you know yeah. because it's it's always good you know i'm i'm st always starting like this you know if if i have nothing special i will give few variants of ideas to to think about it and to start you know sometimes you know even even like the work like this even you are not doing the real uh, concept 
you do not just idea descri description. I have something like that. I have experience in it. Like a few times, you ju just do, for example, three ideas description with some maybe little sketching or something like this. It's always good for me to describe my idea like this. And I'm sometimes doing it for production designers. For example, I want to bring some, I have an idea for their vision, but I'm not sure how they uh, will react on it because uh, they have their <laughs> vision, uh, like, and it's okay, you know, and uh, you're not allowed to, no, it will be strange, you know, when you will, they give you some uh, way to design or some ideas to design and you will change it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and give them something else. You, you just be fired. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's obvious, <laughs> like they won't like, man, you don't understand us. So yeah, uh, yeah and but but you are feeling that you have some idea to, and you can describe it. You know, I make this like description sheet, like with some reference and some ideas and some description of uh, the thing, and give them. And they sometimes they react and they say, "Yeah, this is a great um, like way to, to 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 change it," you know. Because if they are not stable in their vision, they uh, can take your um, ideas and um, continue with them. Uh, so something like this, you know. But from very beginning, I start with some, you know, some this design. Uh, I don't know ideas, mm -hmm. um, sheets, you know, to to show them what I want. Because I never I never design from from like with no idea you know yeah, this yeah, is yeah. The, the very thing that is very bad for 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 design and for process for career for everything you know yeah. it's just every every time it's just fall apart and like nothing good comes from it uh from from by myself i don't know how uh, some people are can maybe can do it from you know from you know from wheels you know just start moving and then mm -hmm. do, 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 do. I know some people like this, they can do this, but for me now, I have to decide idea, like when I have ideas, like for them, free ideas for, for some uh, design problem, I will go from like straight forward on them and uh, bring them to life, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, not like something, something, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. no, 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 just really idea before and then the something result, because it's more um i don't know um, more important yeah mm -hmm. it's more important to have this idea because uh the people who can real realize this idea to life there's a lot of them you know they can take your idea and say okay thank you mm -hmm. yeah, yeah like we will i don't know other artists will do it because you know uh, not problem to do something, you know, it's problem to know what to do. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a real thing, you know, it's from some Japanese art, uh, writer. <laughs> it's, it's like some kind of, uh, Kobo Abe, I think says. And <laughs> that, that kind of like, yeah, that's no, a great, like kind of way to, I guess, summarize it and even to understand it as well. Um, and I have two questions regarding that. First one is more, I guess, like a technical one. So you, when you like generate some ideas and like, like mention do a sheet, maybe two or three, you mentioned yeah. obviously like a few times, like is like a few, is that just because that's all you need is two or three, or do you limit yourself to limit. like, you know, like, 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 I guess, did you learn that the hard way or have you always kind of done that where, okay, I'm already going to show two or three ideas and then we'll move on from there. Uh, it's a limit because we don't have enough time for this, you know, sure, it's always, sure. yeah, for, for me, it's really great to have like, I don't know, to take one week <laughs> to all the idea exploration and do like five, six variants of how it can work. It's great, you know, but I never had this opportunity to do this, uh, maybe three days maximum. It's, it's just, it, it's it, it, even when it's, uh, comes to real uh, nothing we have and we want uh, to uh, create something very new and strange and mm -hmm. uh, and it's um, i think three three days was uh, maybe two days two days three um, it's um, on, th on third day you have to give the result mm. you know it's never never the, the it's not working like this you know for for personal project, yes, you can like decide whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in in real production, no, no, no. One day, it's okay. 
one day for for some ideas you know it's it's and it's good you know when they mm-hmm. give you extra uh, one day for example for exploring you know but sometimes it just some ideas in that day you should finish you know something you know mm-hmm. to show but uh yeah something like this you know but uh, this exploration is um, is limited very limited by by the time you know of production so yeah we don't have enough to, to and, explore and for like say you know like turning around something in a day or two or even a few days do you take that in your stride is that something that comes natural to you like like can you work to that pace comfortably um or does it take a lot out of you uh it's always difficult to start you know it's always difficult to start with this with this idea creation is very intense part of the of the design process and the hardest one mm. it's just you know you it's the this time when you have no result but you have to create something and you have to create this idea explore this idea but you have no result uh, like a Swedish one and uh, these things are very unstable <laughs> and you think in yeah, like maybe it will not work oh man it's lots of gestation you know going on and uh, it's always hard you know it's, mm-hmm. it's the most like after you pass this everything is okay you know when you're on this, like uh, like straight way you're going you're changing you're doing iterations everything is okay you know but this start moment is always always very hard you know for 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 delivering you know and for um, connection and because uh, it's always like uh, stands with some critical uh, view because when like the person any person will have something new yeah something mm-hmm. like uh, you say okay i want something like some ideas for filming uh, here's my ideas and say, um, let's see like yeah let's see this is um, okay maybe not yeah because they are trying like they are like thinking you know start mm-hmm, thinking about mm-hmm. the, your ideas and you're sitting in um <laughs> <laughs> yeah what will be what comes out like i said no, no 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 this is like totally out of like our vision you know and yeah 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 but you see th- that's why it's pretty difficult you know this starting thing but it, you should like very, very concentrate a lot do your job uh do this like few variants give them like uh, some love for uh, for like visual part and and then everything will be okay <laughs> if it will work yeah something I, like this you know uh, it's a, a very good uh like feng Zhu have a lot of uh not a lot of but you have one lecture or one like his podcast about this and it's totally like uh, he is describing this process like totally right you know mm-hmm. it's like he had three three days for this idea generation yeah it's totally like this you know totally like this and you mentioned like obviously and it's, it's correct that you describe it that way as well um like i guess the ideation stage and getting the ideas across and even like you meant to starting is the most difficult part um and ironically like it doesn't appear at least in terms of skill wise because it's more to do sketching and like the rough stuff kind of thing is like technically yeah. in terms of you know whether you're using software or by hand it sh- time wise didn't take that long to uh make them versus like say when you're trying to do a detail painting for example um but like what specifically for you is it that you find hard and i, I assume that it's not like in terms of difficulty i guess it's more like trying to just crack the idea crack the brief um but like why do you describe it as hard uh because first of all you this uh mm, like problems that you, like the design no everybody uh, knows and in every podcast like every artist say that uh concept art is solving the problems mm. yeah but what does it mean it's for real solving the problems you know they have a problems <laughs> <laughs> and you have to solve them and solving them is hard you know because it's a problem if it will be not a problem other artists or they do it by themselves they will yes. not pay you money <laughs> yeah that's that's insane you know and uh because the task can be really strange you know and this is what is great about our profession but also it's a pretty much like 
you know what <laughs> yes <laughs> you can take the brief and you like when you're looking for a station and so on you're thinking oh my god this is so beautiful <laughs> oh there's so much cool environments with mountains and uh with coastals and yeah it's great but pff, no they like if if they need some castle and mountains well they will go to some castle which is in mountains and looks very real and great and much more better than you can paint it you know mm -hmm. because it's it's like real photo you know it's mm -hmm. like you're taking a camera move to some great castle and that's great but then you know the problems come out like you know they like let's make something like that is very strange you know uh and uh and then you think like how how can i solve it you know mm -hmm. and how can how can i create it uh it's both thing you know you have to uh find this like idea yeah and uh and then find the way to create it because you don't sometimes you don't know how to model it you know or how to paint it at all or how it thing uh what is the thing and how i can paint it because i don't know nothing about this like uh i don't know for example like uh i don't know it's so so much things to come to mind you know it's hard to remember something very strange but for example, uh, some giant 3D, 3D printer that uh, can copies real, real object from reality and create the artificial object of it. Uh, and this is the same device. Like, and, uh, and it should be like power supplied, so on. So it's giant 3D printer that uh creates like for example copy of the object in real time mm -hmm. but then should be power supplied and you should understand it it's like what <laughs> oh come like it's you like for example they're taking it is some big tree or some big house put it in this 3d printer it's copied and make an artificial copy of it like how this device will look like you yes, know yes. for real <laughs> because they will build it you know and yeah, you, you think what? Like, and <laughs> this is a problem, you know. And do it like uh, how it is from the glass, from like how how to make it, like wh how how it will be engineering, like the real house on the top and the artificial is in the bottom, or like this, or like how how or like two of this or like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What the form is like? Like here we go. One day. Like, and you like <laughs> thinking, what? <laughs> like, yeah, for example, and this is a problem, you know? Or well, sometimes it's like just crazy things like in cinematics, from, for example, for Plarium, yeah, it was like, okay, some um, character, like, for example, some orc girl going to supermarket, yeah, and she buying a like giant piece of meat, like from the supermarket, she said, just give me this giant, like, piece of cow, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, draw it. You're like like and you are uh -huh, okay like how it will look you know from real yeah or, or for example you should make something like i don't know mm, for example the the main character like the some death knight you know have his bed it's a coffin and uh, this the death knight is laying in the coffin and sleeping in it but his pet a little mouse have a little coffin too. <laughs> uh, his name is Mr. Nibbles, and you need to create a little coffin with uh, like an uh, letter on it. <laughs> like it's, it's his small bed, and uh, there will be like small pillow and small like uh, like uh, blanket yeah. from something. And and you're thinking, <laughs> oh, okay, this is like. Uh, we have to show the, you know, the scale because uh, I can't make real small blanket. It's stupid, you know. You have to make some piece of, uh, mm. Mm, you know, how it's a textile, yeah, and uh, create this blanket. Like, but it should be like, was, like bigger than, you know, uh, to show that this is very small thing, you know, and like what what is going on you know so something like this you know this is problem solving you know it's just just strange things 
Yeah, so, but it's fun. It's really fun. But but it's from the start, it's pretty hard, you know, mm. to 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 get into it, you know, to to find these ideas uh, and find them uh, from what to combine. To so it's really really interesting, you know. Well, so, it, yeah, no, that's that's really yeah. cool. That you explain that, and we do yeah. get like a lot of listeners who are students or just starting their journey off and a lot of them mm. are like either about to or looking forward to like starting their journeys and you know like obviously you can learn the skills and everything but when you're on the job like that can't be replicated but you can get insights from obviously artists like yourself and like for for that type of listener right now and for that type of artist who's yeah. like trying to figure this out because we were over there like thinking okay so what's it going to be like on the job like he's always guesswork and you're trying to like fit things in there um mm. Um, firstly, is that the kind of briefs you tend to normally get? Is that kind of normally like how they're worded? Is this very like kind of like kind of specific but kind of vague? Is that quite common across the briefs that you've had? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's pretty common thing, you know, to get very strange stuff, you know, and mm. very strange process because movies are very, very sometimes it's very, very strange, you know, and uh, have very a lot of strange ideas. So yeah, you like facing these problems is okay, you know, you, and the concept artists or like the people who start working in this and learning this, they have to understand that they will face it and uh, this is the thing that we will face it because uh i see <laughs> i was like uh it was one day i was lo- like open like for example like uh plug in my comp yeah like starting working day and open like our station for example and see like w- one of the guys i like i know or i just, like put the new work and our station is to get three thousand likes like you see like oh man you see like oh this is so beautiful like birds is flying it's like, you can see oh man so beautiful it's so beautiful work and your task is like uh, for example in this day you get you're working like in film yeah and your task is like you know the uh the main character is getting into the room and she broke the floor and the floor is not broken like common like saying it's broken like labyrinth Right. So make the cracks like labyrinth, and and like here, here we go. And they're thinking, what I am doing cracks? <laughs> I'm doing cracks on the floor. But this is so intense moment in the movie. Like it's the last part of this like festival season, and the main character is just you know broken this floor, and every world is ruined, you know, in this time. But you have to do this concept, and the people like the reaction of your concept, the people writing you, you know, it's the cracks are pretty dark, you know, it's a pretty dark, you know, and the team uh, on on the set they will do the cracks like this, you know, they will do them very dark, but the floor is from the glass and. It's kind of so dark, you know. Let's do it like a little bit lighter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and you're doing this cracks lighter, and this is what is the concept art is facing, you know. <laughs> you know? But yeah, but no, no. Sometimes it's of course it's some big big sense and so on. But of course I'm joking, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's a real thing, you know. It's like you know thinking that. Like being a salesman, you know, we're thinking about sea and so beautiful. No, no, you <laughs> will wash your ship a lot, you know, that's what you will do. And you will repair and wash your ship. <laughs> yeah, so this is basically being a sailor, not looking on the beautiful sea. Sometimes you will look, <laughs> but anyway, so something like this, you know. Yeah. But, um, but you could tell, like, you, you definitely enjoy those challenges, like, you get a kick out yes, of it, of course. Of course, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm enjoying it because it's really fun, you know, and mm-hmm. really fun to to make it, and it's really great to see the result, you know. And when it's going out, it's going out on screen. You're thinking, oh, that's the cracks. What was for? <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> was cool. Yeah, so yeah, it's great, you know, to see it and when it comes out, you know. Um, another question I want to ask, just based on your experiences, is. I feel like you've really, really like reiterated and showed that you need to put a lot of emphasis on the idea stage because that's what starts it all and that's what's going to lead to the final result. So I need, like you said, you need to kind of make sure you nail it and crack it or I guess for two reasons. First, because the project's successful and if you don't do it, then it's going to go to somebody else, which again, 
as a freelance artist and everything else as well, you're going to make sure that you are, you're the guy that they keep going to versus another yeah. guy they go to. Um, but also, and you kind of like, you know, the way you've explained it and you've kind of shown that you definitely go back and forth with whoever you're working with just to get the answers you need. Um, but like how important or like how much, I guess, energy or just generally like just your own style, like when you get clients or when you're working with clients and when you get briefs and stuff, like how much energy do you put in to working with the client, for example, like communicating and I guess not just normally on the job, but I guess away from the job where like, have you put any, have you taken like, I guess done any like learning or anything or just like trained yourself to communicate? Um, because that's not always comes naturally to people, right? And like knowing what to ask. And I guess a lot of artists initially are very timid. They're always like, okay, I have to do this. I'll just do this. And they, they realize afterwards that, oh, I can ask a question. I can, I can actually negotiate with you where the result needs to be like and and everything like that as well. So it sounds to me that, that that's something that comes naturally to you or you're very good at that. Um, is that something that you've worked on or is it just part of your, I guess, personality in general? Uh, I will yeah, say like this. It's an interesting question, you know, because uh, most of all, the people who are uh, like uh, working with you, like production designers and art directors, uh, they don't uh, usually like, I understand it now and I and uh, like my advice to understand it, that they don't have a lot of time. Of course, it's, you know, it's uh, the different studios are different. You know, some studios are very, very, about connection uh mm, i know some studios which are really great and very famous and uh, the connection there is very very mm, like i don't know big you know you have everyday call uh and uh, like uh, ev after when you start working when you finish work yeah like a lot of a lot of things uh i'm not big fan of this um I'm more like the person which, which will uh, ask with some material. I will never ask. Um, of course, no. If something like really, um, really, really strange, you know, like something really strange, I will ask about it before I will do something. But uh, most of all, I always do something and then ask about this. Like, uh, for example, okay, we can go like this or like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, because you never go to the production designer or for art director, uh, like empty, you know, you should show something, you know, like you have some something to ask, you can show it to it, like that the process of work is going on because it's, um, uh, it's a good thing to understand that the person which is on that side, uh, is working on some other thing, you know, you're mm -hmm. working on a concept, but the art director working on this delivery of the product of the studio you know and they all thinking about this uh, like result you know they need result they don't need anything else that they want like uh, this and in movies they all like for example in in games the same uh, they need result and because they need a game mm -hmm. they don't need the concept art you know they don't need anything if if this game can be created without concept artists or without any artist or just like it would be super great if they can take these millions of dollars and just do like this, like drop it somewhere, and it will give you a game. <laughs> it's <laughs> very good, you know. They don't interesting to like to to think about it like a lot or doing like. No, of course they're thinking about it a lot, but they don't need. They want to problems to be solved, not created. Mm. Yeah, you see, like this, yeah, because if they don't, if they don't tell you, I thinking about. It, this like this because it's it's my experience i will not advise on it like straightly because every art director is different and every like even even director on film is they are different people sometimes people like to share and connect sometimes they just want to create everything but from my point of view from my experience they are very busy people mm -hmm. they have so much work to do like for example this production oh my god like we have to solve this design problems and they have to solve tons of that like real actors sets uh money uh where to buy this you know because when i saw some real uh like drawings on set designs there there is a lot like for real architects work on some mm -hmm. buildings like and they uh like uh doing it like you know every window and like how the 
glass is put in, you know, this window, and they uh, like f this can be bought in this supermarket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this can be bought on this place. You know, we can find this on this. Uh, the number of prop and it, this is like tons of documentation, you know, mm -hmm. and these people are like working with this, like all these teams and so on. So at least go f for asking for them with some, some result, you know, to not just empty, you know, they just want to see something, you know, and when like to discuss, they like to discuss something like um, when they have like objectively, you know, they have, when they have the object to discuss. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm always asking the um, art director, production designer with some stuff, you know, um, I've thinking some because if uh, he most of all, most of all, when somebody uh, didn't tell you something about about that something like you see the problem in it, you know, you don't understand like how to create it that's the problem is this person don't know about it you know it's they mm, i never never meet someone who forget you know it's <laughs> maybe maybe sometimes but it's not a common thing you know some they the common like answer will be i don't know mm -hmm. you see like uh like i don't know mm -hmm. It was like, for for example you have some design problem i can't like say the name of film and i can't say the it was cancelled but anyway sure. i don't want to, yeah, to right. sh sh share the name and if i will t tell about it everybody will understand <laughs> so uh yeah but in this film it was a very very strange process that was going on uh, in in the interior in this interior was like mm, depends on this process which is what's going on in this scene you know and there was like no understanding like how why but I think, okay, I will create something, you know, and show this and uh, then go ask, you know, are you sure that they will do this in this place <laughs> and something like this, you know? So that's why. Mm, so, yeah, and the answer is like, they, they haven't decided yet. They want to see, mm -hmm. see it from you. So that's why I'm not a big fan. When I was working as art director too, I have this experience too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I um, in Plarium, yeah, for for some some time. I'm yeah, I'm definitely the that kind of person that not, not don't want to talk much about the process, you know, show something, show, show and then let's discuss. Let's like this. Now, obviously like you mentioned what it takes to kind of do the job and the, the key things about I guess the, the, the most important stage of the job as well. Um, but it also should, like you need to like kind of develop your skills and um, make yourself professional. So when did kind of like your training to become the artist you are today begin? Because you mentioned obviously your parents are artistic. So like, like were, were they kind of like passively teaching you? Were you learning from just seeing them, or did they kind of like like where, when did your training start? Oh, basically, it's interesting because I'm was not very a lot of drawing in, in 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 my childhood you know it was like something like you know it's, it's strange because it was so common for me and not, not very interesting you know it's just like like i don't know something that has always been with you i was drawing something but it was not like my passion you know thing you know to, to, to do it but uh even even after that uh i was studying as an architect yeah i was start studying like drew like like drawing thing but um, it's more more about creation you know it's more about not like straightly drawing you know it's more what is was interesting to me as a child and uh and now it's more about creation you know uh, the way of creation it can be music you know it can be like uh, literature or it can be something but it's creation you know it's a, this process which i am amazed of you know when i'm looking on somebody created creation something like you know dancing like or singing you know it's just straightforward yeah it's like this voice show like this person goes out and starts singing and singing great and everybody oh yeah and this is the moment of creation you know it had no sound and this beautiful sound comes out yeah and this is a good process i'm amazed of that and um, the, the, uh, not like drawing itself you know and not like uh, it's, for me it's what it was not so important like how it can go like but but anyway and uh, and i found the way i i can do this you know uh at least i'm thinking i can do this yeah uh but but still and um 
so my but my training process was uh, uh, like from start i was not like paying much attention about it but after i go like finished university and so on and start working in the um, cg industry yeah uh, I was start thinking about it, and I start feeling the lack of uh, of skill, you know, a lot of lack. And uh, I started thinking about about training, about studying, and I was very serious about this process. I started taking courses. I started buying courses, doing them, uh, finding any information, like doing everything I can to study it, like literally everything like mm, oh my god i was like doing like uh, f for example when um uh, in our company they invite german to arrive in our company so like a lot of years ago uh they invite him to show some process about some 360 paintings in that mm -hmm. time yeah and uh, and i was not a concept i was not even artist at all at that time but i was working in this company and i was learning about it but i have no allowed to visit this um event in our company because it was for artists you know they right. bought this uh, course for artists they paid him money he came to make them lecture two days training you know for artists from our company and i was like totally like a part of this like uh, somewhere else and no have, have no like any allowance to, to to join it and i like asking like every people in our company you know can i get in take me in like take can i take get in this lecture room you know to listen you know and uh, i was asking like some girls from uh, other departments which are like event departments you know to, to allow me like how can i get in you know something like this and uh, some guy he get ill you know and uh, they, they say oh, okay he's you no know, he's getting ill he's he's not <laughs> visited and we can like bring you to this uh to, to listen only for one day not for second day which is was a practice you know only for lectures i say okay great and i get in and like wow it was like so cool you know like listening for drama for like whole day you know about all the things and then i have this chance to get on practice you know, on second day because i don't know why but like anyway like they say okay stay for practice and oh and that's how it was like doing you know it was like every courses every trainings you know internet you know blonde squad come on like like of course uh, i get few courses on learn squad so uh which was very helpful of course like for me and so on like you know schoolism uh what else a lot of a lot of uh, brainstorm school uh, from James Blake. Yeah, like many things, you know. So much gum roads, so much uh, people. Like, um, of course, some people from from the industry which helped me like straightly, you know, to find the friends in it. Mm. You know, it's very good to find some guys that uh, like uh, I have uh, Valentin Demchenko. It's a very great artist, a character artist who uh, told me about concept art from the very beginning. Uh, he's so talented, and uh, Sergei Grishinyuk, yes, uh, he's very good, he's working in double negative now, he's really awesome, awesome artist, that like, helped me a lot, uh, from like, they teach me, like, it's, it's really cool, yeah, so, so that's it, you know, this was my, my, like, way of training, you know, do yeah. whatever you can, yeah. It's it's kind of like similar to mine. Um, I did transport design at university, and long story short, it ended with me being like, oh, I don't really want to do this kind of stuff, versus me not really being good at doing that kind of stuff. Um, but a year before I graduated, it was like, oh, concept art, that's a thing. Um, but then fast forward, poetically, it was um, Jammer's Learn Squared course that really unlocked things for me, because I was kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, like watching watching a lot of stuff and getting insight into it. But I didn't really have a workflow and then it was Jammer like that case showed you as well. Um, like, whoa, there's like, first of all, this is solid. First of all, this is interesting. First of all, this is cool and it's fun. And then obviously yeah. every, everything just kind of explodes from there as well. Um, do you feel, or from your perspective, did you feel like you have learned or learnt more after university versus university? Yes. Like, like totally, by a massive difference? Totally. 
totally it's totally true uh, because uh, yeah like it's totally true like 100 percent. because uh i was uh uh you know i was on a lot of courses and it's really fun because it's uh, what about like uh how how can you feel yourself on the course you know i'm uh, uh a lot of people like getting in and sometimes like they have homework it's a lot of stuff to do you know it's maybe some like mentorship course and very intense you know i've have a lot of them and uh some people like they are doing something you know and uh, like okay i missed like this homework and something like this you know not very like you know involved in something oh no i was so like like feeling like ah oh, you're telling me this oh that's information it's money <laughs> it's money in my pocket in my future projects thank you for that tell me more tell me more you know something like this you know you are very very like thirstful for knowledge you know mm -hmm. because like other people think that like, oh like this for example Tom, for example not on folks or Mm, Maché will tell you like uh, something, something like interesting. You know, will find, no, 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 it's a real thing. You know, you will listen to it and you will use it right after you will understand it. Mm. Try to understand it, try to practice it, and you will go like just <clears throat> it's so amazing. Like, you know, the thing about studying, it's so amazing. Uh, and uh, I'm really, really have a lack of time to, of doing it right now. A little bit but i'm so much want to to come back you know to this mm -hmm. process more maybe not like i was back in the days but but for real it's it's a really really amazing thing you know to to know more and because it's just i don't know it's making your life better come on it's totally it's just just like this you know and of course i've started when i was in university i was not understand for why i'm studying it you know mm -hmm. for what just was in general you know yeah in general know a lot about architecture about buildings it was fun you know it was fun to create them and thinking with guys you know like sitting together and create like some interesting projects and uh, like having fun you know but um, for real i i knew that i never can make this real this projects real because they were so crazy you know and so on mm. and yeah i was not feeling you know about this like like real but when I start studying, like pretty late, pretty late, yeah, after after the university, mm -hmm. you know, come on, Same, it was yeah. really, yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. the well, different thing, to totally different thing. Sick. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like yeah, it's um sim similar journey and similar like kind of thoughts and yeah, feelings it, around it as well. Yeah, so if it's, I knew um, about it yeah. about it earlier, you know, I was never studying university or something like this. I was straight go to learn squat and dance. That's all. <laughs> Why? I, I, I guess I, like I need if, if you were to start like right now, then I it's a different landscape, money, right? You know? yeah, 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 different landscape. Um, yeah. But nevertheless, it's all it's all part of the journey. And sometimes I guess when you don't have something or you're looking for something and you find it, it may be it maybe has way more impact than if it's kind of we really take it for granted perhaps maybe um i want to get i want to like look into a bit about i guess the philosophy of like why you like film um because obviously just this thing what we mentioned before which is quite interesting and obviously it's quite obvious the difference between film and games and also designing for film and games like you mentioned you clearly explain the reasons behind it and, and it's cool because like when you're playing a game for example like let's say star wars you look at the iconic props and vehicles and even just looks and visuals anyway. But let's let's look at props. You got the lightsaber and you got the maybe the Millennium Falcon. Super iconic, both visually, how they look, how they sound, how their presence on screen, they're iconic, right? So yeah. clearly they have that this legendary status of like, oh, I would like one of those. Yet in a game, obviously they equally look cool, but let's say because it's kind of like a skill-based thing, maybe you don't like the Millennium Falcon because it doesn't handle right. Maybe you don't like the lightsaber because it doesn't work the way you prefer it to to complete the game um so I, yeah i just wanted to kind of like just just mention that um because it just was swimming in my head when you mentioned that and it's uh, i think it's quite cool like to kind of like sometimes think about the differences between the different kind of like mediums we create in um but then obviously mediums are like always kind of changing and like do you think uh, where do you think the industry's headed like do you think it's kind of merging things or is it going to stay 
kind of distinct as it is, like games and films, yeah, metaverse and all that kind of stuff. That's I wouldn't say happening, but it's kind of like being made to happen as well. Um, yeah, like well, I'd love to get your insight into what you where you think the industry's heading for us. Um, for now, for now, I'm, I'm not feeling that uh, these things are merging. Uh, no, I don't have. I don't know. Maybe some who work on some different projects, like for example, I'm LM X Lab or mm-hmm. something like this. Mm-hmm. They are more involved in this. Um, some more interesting, like um, innovative things or experimenting things but uh, in general uh, for now i'm not feeling that uh, this experience are mm, like merging together uh, it's uh, i think it's good that these things are different and they are giving mm. us a uh, different spectra of fun uh, it's you know games taken a lot from movies uh, in visual mm, uh, kind of thing you know they taken a lot of it yes uh but uh movies from games no they don't take uh this mm, play process because mm. it's another thing you know because movie is mm, the vision of a movie is gift to you by the creators and the game process is some kind of interaction thing you know mm-hmm. the movie don't have this interaction because you can take uh this experience from the game because it takes a lot from the movie and you feel like you can mm. you know play in the movie you know and that's all that's what you need yeah but in other way it will not work because it's have i think no sense for now or something like before the some super reality will not be created or something like this you know some crazy new way of perception you know, will create be created. And for now, it's okay like this. You know, it's uh, of course it's uh, cool. You know, to see the movie like on a like big screen, yeah, or in IMAX or in f- some smells and shows these things. You know, they which are common. You know, some seven D, five D, you know, and so on. Yeah, it's great. Some uh, some kind of attraction and so on. It's great. You know to see some movies in the like on the sphere you know like in planetarium or something like this it's always really cool because they're sitting like this you know looking on on the ceiling you know it's, it's interesting you know but uh, anyway it's kind of uh, dif- anyway it's kind of different uh, things and i like it you know because uh it's it's different experience you know different uh in game you can spend a lot of time you know you can be like uh spend so much time as you want uh, but in movie you have like uh this uh idea which what you can feel you know this message you will react on this you just take it and go with it and thinking about it in your head and it's great you know so that's that i think it's it's a great thing you know to have a difference between that and i working in this industry both i don't feel that now they are really like some kind of mixing no they have uh, some of course, they maybe. Of, of course, they, they taken movies from from games, you know, like Last of Us and so uh, so mm-hmm. on. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, it's great, but it's ob- obviously the thing, you know, because mm. they are very close, you know, because they have a lot of uh, take a lot of from movie, you know, to the game, like Uncharted and so on. Yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah, yeah. So that's great, you know. But I think it's good that we have two different, like, process to to you know to to feel, you know. <laughs> It's great. What's your favorite movie? Oh. <laughs> is there <laughs> one or like is it like a top few? Or, well, is it's there a type of movie hard. then? Maybe it's too hard. Okay. You know, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see. I actually no. no let me ask a different one. Um. What? Back to it, Future. Come on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. But like, what's it's, your what's your favorite movie as a designer funny. then? Back, back Back to Future. But uh, okay. anyway, but like the last thing I was really really. Uh, interested uh it, it was a tv series called the madman it's it's a old one it's, it's finished already it's about the advertising um, yeah, company from the it. 50s yeah. yeah i love it a lot and i loved it from the visual part because uh what is i like this style a, a little like you know this vintage style it's so cool like uh, and uh, r- really like was a nice by it so for example you know mm-hmm. but uh, anyway 
uh, it's a lot of stuff to but yeah you know, some kind from my childhood you know back to future is very cool oh, you know, so i cool. love it a lot so much yeah w- what about like say something modern because obviously like i have this theory where a lot of the stuff that we're inspired by and want to do is cemented mm-hmm. in our childhood like it's always stuff that we saw as children or at a very young age less yeah. so stuff that we see as we're adults or more grown up like we we like them they impress us but they don't really you know like want to inspire us and make us do things um i know that's like kind of like give or take um but like something more modern that like maybe more recent that you think okay that was really cool that's really awesome you mentioned madman as a tv show um but yeah like any of the films perhaps mm, actually uh, of course the doom one yeah like the last of doing this everything that uh Vinyov is doing um uh, his his films are so good so good. i love them so much <laughs> uh like uh, not only like the do like but uh, sicario it's Amazing. really really great uh do, do, do you know that they uh, did you know that they do this uh cars in the desert by cg in 3d yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah. so great because you know they need this long takes that will know is uh like so in love with you know mm-hmm and it's hard to do them and then uh, yeah they like doing it in mexico because it was cheaper and yeah it's so great you know to to see his movies and dune was really really great um what else i don't know yeah maybe maybe like this you know that uh denny vionov is um I'm, I'm glad he makes the stuff that he makes because it's yeah. just amazing like yeah a five star across the board i totally agree with you yeah yeah Yeah. yeah. So like um now have you always freelanced or like has it always been like remote working for you or have you always been in studio no. and as a mix? No, no, I was working in studio for a long time like from like very beginning I was working in studio and uh after the covid thing happened of course it was like uh I'm working I was working from home but I was in studio. Uh but uh I was in some time i was i started combine working in the studio and freelancing mm-hmm. and uh i had two jobs uh and um uh, it was hard <laughs> uh and then uh and then and now i'm yeah i'm on freelance and contract work like um, like this i don't know which is different between freelance and contract like contract sure. work yeah 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 so yeah but uh when the covid mm, happened it's uh, really really you know this mm, difference between freelance and not freelance it was start like disappearing mm-hmm. which was super great and uh i think that uh, time when you should like stay in the office uh went away and i think uh it, it's good you know for, for for i'm feeling that this is the right process and it's great that it I know I can't say that call it great as it's happened but anyway from, no, I get you. from yeah, industry, you yeah, industry yeah. point of view it's um great that this thing with offices start to like uh, disappearing a, a little bit the world become more open and this and the industry has become more mm-hmm. open for all this freelancing and this is this is great you know this is great and yeah. um i guess you do you prefer freelance was it always part of the plan for you or is it something that kind of happened uh no i always like loved to do uh something that i uh like like i i, I need or i love and uh in the office you have to a lot of time is going to being in the office you know uh for me it was not so, of course when I, if you have no alter, al, al, like al, alternative uh variants you, it's okay of course yeah but uh, when you can um, spend more time on your on something you can uh, do for yourself or you can do for your own project or you can do some other project or some other work yeah for example for some freelance client or something like this uh it's better because uh like it's more productive you know because in the office you have to very like work for this time and that's why office was cre- offices was created you know to mm-hmm. make people work for this company for this eight hours and not working for other companies like this is an idea you know and uh, when you can like hug this idea it's it's very really great because you can work for hours for one client five hours for other client mm-hmm. you can work for 10 hours it's okay and yeah it's it's normal yeah so great 
as you touch on not one project but two projects yeah and you're not spending time like for example ooh, like mm, for uh i don't know being in the office like mm, go and eat uh, take a coffee and so on so on so on but uh anyway but uh which is great in office that you can like of course you can speak with people you know and for like uh like find them out more about the process of creation like the game or film of course because staying on the like i don't know shooting uh like a uh, place yeah with the like actors and so on they're giving you a lot of experience about what is going on you know you you're understanding what is happening you know with other people yeah and you staying in the company for the game company gives you a lot of obviously understanding on what, how the games are created you know mm -hmm. who's working on what and you can of course look at it and so on but from some time when you're like okay with this it's it's okay to to leave it you know and to i have this feeling that i want to touch more more projects you know need more ips and that's that's why you are like have to you know to have a little bit lack of uh i don't know people like conversations people and so on mm -hmm and give give more to the projects you want to touch them so that's like this you know and everything has yeah. its <laughs> own price you know yeah, that's true you know? that's so, true yeah um, what, what do you want more yeah I, I guess like speaking of prices there's a, some sometimes you pay a price that you don't expect to pay or it's not even in your control and obviously you mentioned like working from home i work from home and for me and my family and my dynamics it's it's the perfect scenario um maybe for like creative reasons maybe it'd be better to maybe be in the studio sometimes but f on the whole that's the best situation now i'm assuming it's a similar situation for yourself but um you live in ukraine and yeah. it's far from ideal for you right now and that's not putting it lightly that's not me trying to like um play down what's happening but before the call we won't go into detail but you were just speaking about obviously like like it was sobering for me to hear how your routine of like trying to avoid basically being killed sounded yes. so normal to you. Um, the same is like, oh, I just need to update my drivers because my GPU is out of date, you know? So yeah. um, firstly, obviously there's like so many questions that I have. A lot of them are just more because I have no experience of it. And I guess they're maybe a bit more like, I want to say juvenile, but something that's maybe a bit more like from naivety. Um, but I guess from your experience as an artist, someone who works from home, someone who is trying to make a living yet trying to like n navigate this messed up scenario that you're in um first of all like how has it been for you just want to share your experiences regarding that and also does it has it affected your relationship with art with your creativity with your profession um overall um the floor is yours yeah uh oh what to start from you know it's um uh, it's really crazy as i said to you before the we have this this podcast uh it's really really surrealistic uh and um from like how it starts you know uh the four in the morning you're just hearing like explosions you never like forget the sound like it's it's very specific you know it's very like low and bass you know like boom, boom, boom. and the viewer that just like getting up from from this uh what we like uh like first day was of, of course it was awful like everything was in panic you know supermarkets people food like uh, everybody everybody want like uh all the cars are stopped on in, in the city you know it's all everything is blocked you know like everything you imagine when you like thinking about all the things uh, and uh, so on the second day i parked my computer in the car uh taking away my daughter like uh, my wife was uh, uh my wife and we were like just going out from Kharkiv because our our city is on the border with russia mm -hmm. it was bombed like like the first like i don't know it's just like the first thing they did, they did, they bombed our city because it's only 30 kilometers from that. And the main thing for us, the main uh, fear for us that we are just under occupation right now. 
like because the tanks were staying on the like border of the city you know and was just like shooting in the city they were standing on the like it's a round road like it's called like circle road around the city you know the main road which is going around and they just was standing there and just on, on some pl places you know and the second day was the main thing was like to find the way out from the city you know to find the way because it can be blocked already we don't know uh, so that was in five in the morning we went out from the city and it was free and uh, the road was free it was okay yeah but 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 yeah when i was like parking the computer like i was i have the like uh, the working machine with uh, uh like 390 yeah rtx <laughs> yeah I, li I like it a lot <laughs> i think i will take it with me you know i will take a monitor and this uh, and uh, my tablet and i was parking it and while i was parking it uh, i will, will our, our house you know it's on the height in Kharkiv, and I was seeing like the re like the region, and I seen like explosions on, on, on the horizon, you know, like just like it's like what how it, in in this time on a station, some companies from Russia were writing to me, "Can you take the freelance, for example?" I say, "Come on, what is going on? Like what freelance? Can forget about it, you know." And this is what's happening, like all the things, like together you know it's a crazy experience it's crazy after that we lived in the west part of the country which is more safe and obviously a few months like one month or two months it was just you're just shocked and you can't do anything it's just like you just thinking about you know some totally different things you know some totally different things that you want just like you know to be with your family you understand that you lost like your flat, your apartments, your like everything. Like it's not exist for you, and uh, the only thing exists for you is the people around you, like uh, people who you love. And uh, and uh, I never thought that uh, even in general people can be so you know connected with each other and helpful uh, because in the face of the some some this kind of extreme situation we are like you know like like species you know like uh, from the natural point of view we are we are want to be together it's it's really hard to explain you know you because we after like 32 hours in the road on the road we have to sleep somewhere you know, because we just was like uh, like you know passing out you know <laughs> feeling like we're so was so tired that we need to stay something and we stay from some people who don't know even like for just like I asked my friend and he has a brother that lives in somewhere and he take us and uh, we stay in him for a few days and I never I never knew them before that you know and they were okay they given us food for the morning you know like because and it's it's very it's it's really great you know to to know this and uh how it's affected? Of course, it's like I, I wrote to all my uh, before the day of the Avita. I wrote to all my clients, to to all, to all of them that uh, we are facing the extreme situation and uh, things can be really, really wrong, and uh, we have to do something about it. And then I say, okay, of course, do, like how can we care help? So people are all very helpful, and. Uh, all, all like uh, like people I work with were very helpful. They um, donate money for 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 Ukraine for helping, uh, like doing a lot of things to to help. It's really great and and support, you know. And uh, after that, um, like staying in more like safe kind of situation in uh, west part of the country in the Lviv. Uh, it's. Uh, like Lviv uh, city, it's a place where a lot of um, people come uh, to visit Ukraine, you know, Angelina Jolie, you know, uh, it was in news and so on, a lot of actors and mm -hmm. a lot of people came to visit, you know, there. Uh, and we were staying with the family, you know, it's, it's a lot of practical, a lot of practical uh, problems, you know, because you have, I don't know, basically you have for example, no uh, clothes, 
<laughs> for example, oh, you have no shoes, or oh, you have something like this, because because it's winter, you know, we forgot for the shoes, for for example, for, for our grandmother, you know, we forgot all, all her clothes in Kharkov, for example, we should buy everything from, from scratch, you know, so something like this, you know, and uh, after that, um, but then after some time, you know, some people react to it with art. It's, it's strange because some of my friends, they wanted to, so, I, I don't know, to reflect their feelings with, with uh, I can't do this for, for even now. I can't draw something about war. Uh, I knew they, they did it, you know, they reflect, so they do some very, very uh, intense art. Uh, was a feeling, you know, of, I don't know, of victory, of, uh, of some good things or some mm, reflecting some bad things, you know, happened. Uh, and um, this is, I don't know how they did it, because I will, I know, I think I, if I will start doing something like this, I, I have no, no, I don't know, no power to do this, no, mm, it would just be so sad and will cry and so, something like this, you know. I can't like go through this, you know. But in but on some uh, some time after, I can uh, feel that uh, uh, the thing that I can do for myself and for the country and for for everybody that for my uh, people who are around me here, yeah, I can work and. Uh, it's really helped because you are like um, switching your um, mindset to something else. It was hard in the first time, but then it's it's really okay because it's helping. You know, work is really helping. Being uh, uh, being useful is very helpful. You know, for your family, for your country, it's very good. You know, because bringing money, you know, moving economics. Uh, something like this, you know, it's very, it's very good. And then, uh, like a lot of ideas about, you know, that uh, we have a great artist in our country, you know, that move, that work in the industry all over the world, and they uh, like deserve to 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 work, you know, <laughs> they deserve to to be in like uh, like in the industry. They don't have to be, you know. Uh, blocked out of it because of war or something like this they should be more productive even more you know to 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 do their best you know because uh, when you live in this area you are living for like for, for now you know you don't know uh, a lot you can't do any plans you know you understand that you uh, can't plan things a lot uh, in future, yeah, you're thinking like you know our interview can be stopped right now, you know, by by the um, Russian air attack, and so and that's all. And we can't plan something like in future. But what you can do, you can be useful right now. You can do your what you can, and you can bring uh, the art to the world uh, right now. It's really really important understanding of this, and that's how. Uh, I motivate myself to start uh, to bring back all the clients. I wrote to them that I'm in a more stable situation right now. Let's go back. Let's start all over again and start, you know, and start all working all over. And uh, for now, it's really, really, really things that you can, that you really want and can overcome, you know, this fear of, uh, you know, of death. Like you said it, uh, you have to overcome it and uh, do important things in your life. You know, it's w w like, because uh, our art and our job is important, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's bringing good things to the world. <laughs> it's giving entertainment, it's giving people fun, you know, it's giving us uh, this feeling of... Uh, like when we're useful, then feeling of realization of our uh, artistic, you know, uh, I don't know, talent or artistic, artistic mind or whatever. Like, yeah. So we have to do this. We have to do this, and nobody have a right to um, take it from us, you know. But they want <laughs> really. That's that's what uh, uh, like this. Uh, like 
Russian army wants that's what they want. They want us to stop, to stop being productive. They want us to stop being Ukrainians. They want to stop us being um, Ukraine government, like like uh, being Ukraine country. You know, they don't want. They want us be unproductive Russian Federation part. You know, it's it's a, it's we we obviously knew it. Yeah, they make their best to do this. <laughs> They're trying very hard, you know, they're doing their best. We have to do their, our best to not allow them and to, to do what we have to do and what we want, you know? That's my idea. This is very, this idea that gives me mm, like f this, you know, uh, power to overcome this, you know, overcome this, uh, like some depression or something, you know, and motivation things. That's like this, you know, uh, that's the feeling because they want us to stop. And we will not. <laughs> yeah, that's like this, you know, they want all us, our, our like, uh, talented artists in Ukraine, stop being like, you know, given us, given the art to, to the world. Yeah, for real. It will be great for, for them. Yeah. To people, our, our people being sad, our people being upset, our people being uh, afraid, you know, uh, to show them, to speak about them, you know, to speak about all this uh, uh, crimes and so on, you know, because it's it's like the simple thing about, you know, like the aggression of other person that will, that can, uh, I don't know, mm, uh, catch up you on the street, you know, they want you to be quiet, you know, don't shout out, you know, don't, don't do the, anything. Don't like, I, I would just rob you and just go away. Like, st stop, stop doing things. No, 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 like no shout out. Yeah. Something like this. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. No, no, that's not a thing. You know, that's not a thing. Be afraid. You know, it's no, no, it's not, it will not work. That's why I'm staying in Ukraine. That's why, because I have, uh, we have, of course, we have a lot of, uh, thoughts about like moving to other country i know a lot of a lot of the guys did uh, of course obviously because a lot of them lost their homes best by the way the rocket drops mm, i don't know maybe 20 meters from my apartment from harkov you know it was like burning cars you know destroyed you can see it on my instagram if you if you, if you don't believe me it's it's true uh yeah and uh so a lot of guys they just have to leave you know because they don't have you know their homes or they don't have uh, um, don't feel them themselves safe enough to work or to something like this and i knew some of my friends of mine that are staying abroad right now no but um, a lot of them want to come back and uh, and work for country and work here and live here and uh, but what is important for me i, w I want to stay as much as i can uh because obviously i have a lot of thoughts about like how can be like be more in safe situation uh, staying in europe somewhere but because everybody asking like come on um, come here like uh, we like people want to help uh, and it's truly really possible, but f as as much as I can, I want to stay here and uh, work from here to show that, like for like for real, we can do this. You know, we, the country will live because we are the country. You know, we are the people who live here. All all of us. <laughs> you know, it's a simple like person which is living in Kiev right now. It's the person who is like. I don't know, moving everything forward, like moving life forward, you know, uh, here. Uh, so I think that's most important and that is what is motivates me mm, like this, you know, but, uh, but still, yeah, react with art on the war crimes. I can't still, still, I can't, I don't know, I don't know where they take this power to do this, something like this. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's, um, heavy stuff man but heavy stuff, man, yeah. it's your life at the moment and it's not a case yeah. of like you know yeah that's yeah. it this is your reality um i'm sure those words and that experience will 
touch a lot of people, motivate a lot of people and inspire a lot of people who are going through maybe the same thing, but even like, I guess, situations that you kind of can put in that bracket across the world, like where people are stopped from doing, or be, like, like you said, like, you know, like you're, you're, you're rebuilding with art, just to summarize kind of thing. And that's, you know, that's super powerful. Um, I guess as a powerful note to wrap the podcast on as well. Um, any more, any like I guess final thoughts from yourself, and especially to people who maybe like are in the same situation as yourself. Um, maybe like I said, directly, indirectly, like, you know, wherever across the world. Yeah, would you want to like, give any final words to say to to them? I'd say that um, it's a great thing to you know this. Uh, obviously, is an awful situation with that uh, we are like. Um, appears uh in in this like uh um, like we yeah, are six seven months ago uh but uh i'm like you know to ask people like who are like i you know to think about uh the important things in their life uh because all this situation bring us uh, the thoughts about what is important what is unimportant and uh and to reflect on these things is uh, it's very good, you know. It's it's um, very useful, and um, every person should think about it. I think like this, you know, what is important and what is unimportant in their lives, and what they want to do and what they don't want to do, because it will view the world is very fragile. What is, uh, I understood from this, the peace is very fragile and the life is very, very fragile. You know, uh, one time it's going like this, like your mm, common things, you know, like usual. And another thing, it's the prince, like all, everything falls apart, you know, it's, it's, and it's even not your, like, you know, not your business, you know, it's just like this, you know, so one time in your life other time no and uh you should think about it you know uh and uh concentrate on things that are very very important for you you know to to joy and to feel joy from the people that are beside you you know to reject people that you don't like you know to reject jobs that you don't like to find things that you like you know to do it more to try it more to read it more to take this life like more you know more just because it's beautiful and very very interesting you know so much things to do so much things to find out and it's really great you know and it can be taken from you like in one second you know you not will feel even like like phew, that's all and so that's that's the things i'm thinking about a lot like last six months you know about this and uh i knew that uh speaking about this one thing and feeling it other thing but just i'm asking you like this, my like this my final like the, yeah like finishing of this interview is like Try, try to think about it, you know? Try to think at what is important and what is unimportant in your life. Yeah, like this. A huge thanks to Yuri for joining me. And I really appreciate him sharing his journey and story. Give him a follow and check out his amazing work by tapping the links in this episode's description. I've been your host, Aaron Danda. Till next time. Mm-hmm.